Hi, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to restrict access to the internet for certain devices in your network. This could be used as a parental control. Maybe you have children and you only want to allocate them internet connectivity for certain hours of the day or on certain days. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to do that on the Huawei CPE device. Here is the landing screen for the Huawei router. My IP address is 192.168.8.1. If you do not know how to locate your router's IP address, please go towards the end of the video. I have a short tutorial explaining how to locate the routers IP address right so you will need your username and password to log in to the software of your router now I log in I then go to tools I then say parental control and then over here it gives me the internet access time control you can see that I've already made some settings so looking at some of the settings I've already made right so this one is Kodi TV now what this is is it's a TV that users watch and I do not want people watching TV earlier than five o'clock in the morning or later than 1030. So I've set this up as an example and all I do is if I just show you, you can see that you can set the time from when the connectivity is allowed. That's a starting time, 5 a.m. in the morning and zero minutes. And the time when the internet will cut off for this user is 10 p.m. in the night, well 10 and then 30 minutes. You can set it to 10, 10, 15, 10, 30, 10, 45. So I've set it to 10, 30. And then you select the days when you want this rule to be active. Now in this case, it's on all the days. Now why I'm showing you this is because you'll notice that there's a list here. And this list is the list of devices which are either currently connected to your CPE device, your router, or devices that have historically been connected and now they are disconnected but it is still in the memory of your router. So just say for example I scroll down here, there it's ticked, it says Kodi TV and there is the physical address that is called a MAC address. Every device on your local network that is using Wi-Fi or Ethernet uses two addresses, you'll need the IP address and the MAC address. But in order to initiate this time access control rule or this internet access control rule you only need the physical address IP addresses can change so if you did try and lock someone out with just an IP address they could change their IP address and that is why it is asking for a physical address because users cannot easily change their physical address it's burned into the device on the network card now here for example this particular unit this is the physical address I will show you shortly how I locate this physical address on a device or on a mobile phone and what you need to do is check it so I check that and then I would say okay so this has already been done now there you can see it is currently off if I want to switch it on I just toggle it on and then that user is blocked after 10 30 p.m. they will no longer be able to watch Netflix or any website will be blocked it's total internet shutdown for them now I'm switching them back off. Now if you want to set this up, all you'll do is you'll say plus. You'll choose the time that the internet is available from to the time that the internet is available to. And then you'll choose your days and then you will need to locate the physical address in the list which means you do need to know the physical address of the users that you are creating this rule for I'll quickly show you two methods of locating the physical address and this is on a Windows computer now the first method is going to your internet settings now this is a Windows 11 computer so all I do is I right click on the network icon over there it brings up network and internet settings I now see all the devices which are available to me on this computer. So if I'm connecting via Ethernet, I will just go over here, I'll say Ethernet. Now here are the addresses for this Ethernet card. So if you look here towards the bottom, that is the physical address. That is the address you need in order to do this rule of the internet time control. So there is one method of getting it. Now, if you're using Wi-Fi, or if your child is on a computer that has both Wi-Fi and Ethernet, you will need to block both the addresses because this user might just be able to say, all right, well, you blocked me on the Ethernet. All I'll do is I'll go onto Wi-Fi and I will access via Wi-Fi. So therefore, you will also go to the Wi-Fi 
and when you click on the interface over here you see the physical address the mac address so i will then use both those addresses in order to create the rule so that means that i will tick the one address which will come up here and the other address now you might find that the one address isn't coming up there how you initiate that is make sure you connect to the router using wi-fi then it will come up here and it will store it even if you switch it off and you go back to the ethernet it will come up here and it will store it you'll find people's uh, mac addresses here that have been connected to your network even months before and are no longer on your network their address is stored here right now I'll quickly show you the second method you go to the search now this is the same for windows 10 and 11 you type cmd you then say enter you'll then type ipconfig forward slash all and then you press enter now don't get afraid if it brings up lots and lots of information what we're looking for is the ethernet adapter in this case it is the ethernet adapter there it is and we are then looking for the physical address which is somewhere over there you can see there's the physical address 98e7b3 now recall that is the same address i showed when i used the windows settings for example, if I go back to the in network and internet settings, if I go to Ethernet, you'll see here, there's that same address. It's just a different way of getting that information. Then you can also scroll down here and locate the Wi-Fi adapter. You'll also be able to locate the physical address. Right, once you've got that, you will check them in the box here. Now, sometimes when you go through the list, you might even find that it comes up with the computer name or here, if it's a mobile phone, it actually states the mobile phone. It says Huawei P20 Lite. I know that is a cell phone. So if that was the phone you wanted to block, it's very easy. You just check the box. And obviously, you would have had to have set your internet time restrictions and the days. So very easy to just scroll here and locate the MAC address. Now, say, for example, you're not sure if that is the correct MAC address on the mobile phone. You can go onto the mobile phone and locate it. And then once you've located it, then remember the address and then just come to the list here and you will find it here as well if that person has obviously accessed your network using the Huawei router. All right, so now I'll quickly show how you locate your router's IP address if you could not find your router's IP address. Here is my router's IP address. It is 192.168.8.1. How do I locate this address? That's quite easy. All I need to do is do the search. I type CMD into the search bar and then it will bring up the command prompt window. I now type in ipconfig as one word and then I press enter. Now, because I'm connecting via Ethernet, you will be able to see it says Ethernet adapter number two. And over here, it says default gateway. The default gateway address is provided for me as 192.168.8.1. That is the router's IP address on the network. The router is the device that allows the computers, phones, etc. access to the internet when connected to your local network. So this is your router's IP address. In this case, notice that the 192.168.8.1 is the same address I've put here on my web browser login to get to my Huawei login page.